Hey everyone, and welcome back. I'm Anton Retro, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up WiiMiFi to play Wii games online. This tutorial works with all Wii systems, including the Wii U's Wii Wii. However, this does not work with the Wii Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see future videos on the channel, and let's get started. First, we will need a Wii with an internet connection. If you are unsure about how to set up the internet, all you will need to do is go to the Wii options, then system settings, then move one right and select internet. Select connection settings. From there, you can select what connection you would like to use. Click wireless connection. But if you would like to have a wired connection, then go ahead with that instead. Select search for access point. Select the network and enter in your Wi-Fi password. It might ask you to perform a system update once it has connected. Just select no. This next part is for people who don't have homebrew. So if you want the homebrew method instead, which I find much easier, then go to the description to see the timestamps. Remember, you need homebrew to do this. Some of the boxes may be slightly different, but they mostly mean the same thing and they have the same location. So just follow what buttons I select. Once you are set up correctly and have the internet working, we are going to connect settings, then move right three times until we see DNS settings. Essentially, DNS is the connection to Nintendo servers. But because Nintendo servers are no longer running, we need to connect to the WiiMiFi servers instead. Click on No, then Advanced Settings. Now click on Primary DNS. So what we are going to do is enter the address on screen. And also this other address, which is optional, but it goes to Google servers and takes care of the stuff that WiiMiFi doesn't do. Select Save, it will do a connection test. If it is unsuccessful, then just exit the Wii settings and head to the Wii menu. And even if it is still successful, I'd recommend that you exit to the Wii menu, so that way it can configure instead of everything. Now that we're back at the Wii menu, go back to click the Wii options, click Wii settings, move one right, and select internet. Click user agreements and just select yes. And it should say this message. Once it has successfully connected, what you want to do is just wait on the screen. Do not press any buttons or click the accept or anything because this is an exploit that is taking place of the Wii Connect 24 user agreement screen. Once you've waited around two minutes and it works, you will see this screen that looks like this. Now, just insert the disk that you want to patch. And if the disk is already in there, it should initialize automatically. And as you can see, it is working perfectly fine. If nothing happens and you are still on the exploit screen for around three to four minutes, then just hold the power button, just like the instructions say. Every time you want to play online, you will need to go to the user agreements and do this over and over again. But if you want a much faster option that involves the homebrew channel, then you'll probably want to try this method instead. First, you're going to connect your SD card to your computer, and I'm assuming you already have an SD card if you have a modded Wii. So anyway, go down to the description to the WiiMiFi website. Now you're going to hover over the WiiMiFi in the upper left corner and click on WiiMiFi Patcher. Now you're going to go to the second option here, which is called WiiMiFi Auto Patcher. 0.6 and download that. Once you have downloaded and extracted the folder, then what you want to do is put these files in your apps folder on your SD card. If you don't have an apps folder, then just use the apps folder that is provided in the WiiMiFi patcher file. Then place these files in the root of the SD card. Don't worry about the readme text, that just shows you further information. Now eject the SD card and insert it in your Wii. Then launch the homebrew channel. 
Once you are in, you should see the Weemify patch your app. Before we load it, remove the disk that you have just because you cannot change it once the patcher kicks in. So load it up and after a little while, it should just work perfectly fine. So it is a much faster option. Now it's time for some testing. The two games I've tested are Mario Kart Wii and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Mario Kart Wii worked pretty much flawlessly. I didn't have any hiccups or disconnections or glitches, and it was surprisingly smooth. And there were only a couple times when I got into a lobby that just had two players, so, so there was a pretty big active community for this game. And the connection process didn't take too long either, so I'd say that this game overall is the best game supported by Weemify. And I also tested Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which worked, but there was a couple times when I didn't connect to the, the Wimify servers, and there were also a couple other times when it didn't even find any players, so I don't know about that. But there were a couple hiccups here and there, but overall it worked very well. If you're going to be using the Wimify servers often, then I recommend that you go down to the description to see the Wimify website, same place that you can download the file I showed earlier, and here it shows you a bunch of games that are supported, the statistics, and when the servers are going down for maintenance, so I recommend you do check that out. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you did find it helpful, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see future videos on the channel, and feel free to ask questions down below, as I will try my best to help you out, but if you guys in the comments can help each other out, that would be much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next one.